Okay. Hello guys. So I want to talk a little bit about hormones. This is going to be posted later on my feed. Um, I just really didn't want, the news is going to be a little bit longer and I just didn't want this to be um, so long and having all the stories of having to just keep again and again and again, since it only lets you do four at a time. Okay. So I can't believe I haven't really talked about this more on my page, but it's a question I get a lot. So I just wanted to go over a couple 101 things with hormone balancing because I was looking at these two products, um, recently because I'm pretty sure that my hormones are starting to kind of get imbalanced again. Um, and I was just looking at the ingredients. It, so I just, what I want to do here in this video is I just want to talk a little bit about um, how do you know if your hormones are imbalanced? Um, what should you look for in supplements and um, natural ways to help balance your hormones again? Um, and I wanted to just highlight a couple of the ingredients in this and then talk about like why I personally like this product. Um, but you can apply those same things for finding a product that works for you. Um, because that's also a goal is not just to tell you what brand to use, but to help um, educate you to be able to know what to look for, you know, for finding other brands. Okay. So first off, how do you know if your hormone hormones are imbalanced? balanced. Okay. So a really, really big way, this again is not covering everything, but just a couple things. Um, one of the biggest things is to look at your cycle. Um, that is one of the biggest factors to know if something is off. If you're getting certain symptoms that are only coming around, um, different pains, acne, various different things um, during um, ovulation or the luteal phase, which is in between uh, ovulation and your um, period or while on your period, there's a really good chance that that has to do with some sort of a uh, imbalance. If you're irregular, um, you go a you know, really long time in between without um, you know having a period, um, that's your body trying to um, ovulate and you know, being delayed for whatever reason, maybe two imbalances, that's a good um, indication that there's probably something. Um, but just any kind of abnormal symptom or really bad pains that you're experiencing, for me, I always know that it's getting worse when I have like really bad hormonal lower back pain on my period. That's always a sign to me that something is off and it's been prog like progressively getting worse, which I know is a sign I'm like, okay, something is definitely going in the wrong direction here. <laughs> So uh, if you have different symptoms like that, that could be a really good sign that something's going on. So um, I had found this, um, for those of you that don't know, I had struggled a little bit with infertility for about nine months um, before getting pregnant with my first. I had gone to a holistic doctor and gotten my um, levels checked, which I highly recommend doing um, for those of you who think you might have something, um, you know, hormonally imbalanced. Um, it was really, really, really good to know because I was struggling with a lot of um, acne as well that ended up being linked to it. But I got my blood levels checked and I had an extremely high amount of estrogen and a really, really, really low amount of progesterone. Like she basically told me you would not even be able to get pregnant, let alone with like, you know, hold a pregnancy um, with the amount of progesterone that you have. So I started immediately looking into different products that are naturally going to balance that. And this was actually the one that I found a while ago, knowing what I know now, I would say I probably wouldn't recommend this as much I, just cause I looked at this recently again, and it's got folic acid as the folate. So, you know, pro tip when you're looking at, um, supplements, if it says folic acid, that's the synthetic version. You definitely want to look for the methyl folate. That's going to be the, um, food derived, whole form um, way that your body can process it correctly. Um, folic acid is actually incredibly difficult for your body to break down and use correctly because it's synthetic. Okay. Um, but anyway, one of the things I did look up when I was looking for how to especially raise progesterone levels, the same thing um, that I kept finding over and over was chase berry. So this was something that was, um, this is the fertility blend one. I'd say this is an in-between. It is good. I like that it has third party, um, you know, verified tests with it. And it's also like, if it says scientifically validated, that means that there has to be a certain amount of lab clinical trials done on it to prove that statement. So I I do like that. Um, but this is a newer one I found that I wish I would have found then. This is the Spriggs Life one, but I was looking at the ingredients in this and this also, um, just to highlight a couple of them, just to explain. Cause again, I like not just telling you guys use this product. I want to teach you guys why is it good? Why is it helping? Right? So the first ingredient in this is wild yam. So for those of you that don't know, wild yam root is incredibly powerful for balancing estrogen. And if for those, um, that have been on like the, um, you know, what's the estrogen? I know there's like progesterone creams and also estrogen creams. Wild yam root is a better alternative for that. Um, 
The second ingredient is chase berry, um, which was the one that I kept finding that is so, so, so powerful for um, balancing your progesterone levels. Um, what I like is that every single ingredient in this one in particular is also aiding in, um, you know, balancing the hormones and, um, you know, things that are going to be aiding your body and doing that naturally. Another one is red raspberry leaf. You're going to find that a lot in products having to do with menstrual issues, menstrual cramps. And it's because it helps balance the estrogen, the estrogen and progesterone that are typically giving you those cramps and, or different problems you're having, um, on your period. But just one more to highlight because I think it's kind of cool. Um, it's the last ingredient in this, but it's blessed thistle. There are a lot of benefits to um, these herbs. This is a completely herb plant-based supplement. Um, but one thing I think is cool with blessed thistle is that um, when I went to the holistic doctor originally years ago to start balancing my hormones naturally, one of the things they told me is that um, basically how your body will secrete the excess or like get rid of and filter through the excess um, estrogen and you know whatnot um, is just through like your urine. So blessed thistle is actually uh, a diuretic and it helps aid even the liver in detoxing correctly. So that's just a cool like little backstory there on some of the information with that. Um, but I also really like and I, I encourage looking for supplements that are going to be like this, um, you know, herb-based, plant-based, um, you know, derived from um, foods is another great one. Um, and feel free, by the way, if you guys have questions right now to, um, you know, comment or you can comment below. I want to be doing more posts on this because it is a topic I get asked about a lot, especially since it's something I have looked into. Um, so I do want to be doing posts on this. So let me know and comment below what specifically you want to know more about balancing hormones. But um, one thing that I do love with this brand too is that um, they third party test all their ingredients for purity and they get like a um, technical data sheet. Um, to ensure, you know, just that everything has been uh, tested and has no contaminations in it. Their, in, their facility is also FDA inspected. There actually are quite a few FDA laws having to do with, um, you know, ensuring purity and uh, whatnot with products, especially when you're dealing with a supplements facts like this. There's actually some pretty specific things that you're supposed to do regarding label or whatever. I'd be happy to send you that information uh, if you're curious more about that. But anyway, I do have a link um, and discount code for 20% off for this product, which is awesome. But if you are dealing with hormone um, issues, this is one of the really, um, like I would highly, highly recommend um, this just from all the different research. There's some incredible research having to do with this chase berry, by the way, I'm a little obsessed with the chase berry in this. Um, and the wild yam, honestly. So if, if you're looking for sources on that too, I'd be happy to send it to you. Um, the other thing that I did balance hormones too, diet is also a huge aspect of it. Not as gonna, we're not really gonna talk about that as much right now, but um, I was just gonna throw out there, the other thing is essential oils. I had a pretty strict essential oil regimen I was doing. Um, I went from, again, getting my labs done, having zero progesterone, really high estrogen to the only thing that I changed was supplements like this and um, essential oil regimens. And in four months I was able to get pregnant and I retested my progesterone at that point And I had them do like take my blood work and it said, they said that it was like the highest that it could have been. So I have like, you know, experience, there you go, proof. And also just the, the two different labs to like kind of compare that this really did work. Um, but the, uh, essential oils that I would highly recommend for balancing that out, um, uh, Thyme is really powerful and uh, grapefruit and also majorum in balancing progesterone uh, and also aiding your body in creating more progesterone. Um, one of the biggest ones for estrogen is clary sage. Um, that one is really, really powerful in helping aid your body in the balancing of estrogen. And sandalwood is probably the biggest one I'd recommend for balancing testosterone in the body, which believe it or not, women do actually have as well. It's just a smaller amount, obviously, than men. Um, okay. I've heard a lot about seed cycling thoughts on that. I'm gonna be honest. I actually have not heard of that too much. I know I've heard of it. I haven't done enough research on it. I'll have to get back to you because that is something someone has asked you recently. Um, I, I remember writing some sort of article is some on, no, I can't. I don't, I honestly don't know. Great question. All right. I, I know who you are. I'll get back to you. I want to, I want to look that up more. It's a really excellent question. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that is the, the top kind of things I have, um, my, uh, regimen that I did for balancing, um, you know, my hormones, 
Um, frankincense was also in there. I, ha I actually found a blog post from someone else who was an herbalist, like a trained herbalist, who um, I did a lot of different regimens having to do with this, um, you know, that also included other oils. Those were some of the big ones. Um, frankincense was also another one that was really big. But if you're interested in that specific regimen, I was rolling stuff on the bottom of my feet every day. And then I also was putting just like over, you know, various organs um, and also just like on wrists. Um, forearm was a really big one. The wild yam is really, really amazing. Um, uh, on your forearms as well for getting that into your bloodstream on the bottom of your feet is obviously going to be the most potent way but anyway um if you're interested in that specific regimen of what i did i'd be more than happy to send it to you so comment below and let me know um okay we got one more let's see kim i'm on a uh, progesterone and testosterone bioidentical yes okay yeah so yeah this was one of the things the doctor had told me too was that i should be on some sort of progesterone cream originally and i was telling her i really didn't want to do that because yeah just i mean just so you know creams and stuff that the doctors not nine times out of ten what they're going to be prescribing to you is going to be synthetic um the other thing to know about that too just for whatever it's worth um you're it's a it is more of a band-aid solution where um there's better results when you're doing something like this uh it it takes a little bit longer, but it lasts longer. Think of it kind of like weight loss. It's like kind of doing either you're going to do a quick fix diet that you lose a lot of weight right up front, you know, but then it's not very sustainable so that as soon as you go back to normal eating habits, you're going to gain the weight back or your body's kind of in shock a little and loses weight, but then bounces out and starts gaining again. Whereas if you just establish healthy eating cycle and, you know, um, consistent working out over the long run that's going to be better for your body this is the same sort of thing synthetic things that they're going to be prescribing you at the doctor's office is going to be a slightly more on the side of the um quick fix solutions where it's actually not sustainable for your body because it's not processing it the same way and recognizing um like what like the folate like i was saying or you know versus the folic acid folate is going to be in the form that your body already knows how to read um so, oh yeah, yeah, Anna, you said you just ordered some, good. Yes, yeah, I love this one. So again, this is one that I really love, but I'd be happy to send you guys more research if you're wanting to find a different brand. Um, but yeah, comment with other um, maybe questions that you have regarding um, hormone balancing, and I'd love to answer those. Um, and like I said, kind of do posts about it in the future. So um, let's see, my is functional medicine. It's more of a natural product. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely in between. Um, there's different ones. It really depends on the brand. Um, I've seen some functional doctors still prescribe things that I was like, that doesn't, how is that, how is this better? Um, so sometimes it's good to, to just to ask them. I mean, all doctors should be transparent and able to answer questions as to why they're, you know, prescribing what they are. So, um, you know, even just getting with your doctor and asking, is there a better solution? Is there something that's going to, um, you know, in the long run benefit my body better? So anyway, um, okay, cool. Well, that was just a quick little, um, wanted to throw that out there to you guys and just um, start to talk about that, but it's something I'm going to be exploring more. So anyway, okay. Bye guys.